Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm India. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about our school. So we're going to interview the head girls team to find out about their roles within the school. And here they are now. Hi, would you like to start off by introducing yourselves? Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm currently head girl at Upton Hall School. Hi, my name's Phoebe and I'm deputy head girl at Upton. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm one of your deputy head girls. My name's Chloe and I'm also a deputy head girl. Hi, I'm Darcy and I'm also a deputy head girl. Hi, I'm Tara and I'm a deputy head girl. How does the head girls team work? So, we have one head girl and five deputies and we each come up with an individual action plan, which is a way we really want to help the school. This year, we've decided to interlink all our action plans to one big goal, which is to make communication in the school even better. As well as this, we also have the honour of representing our school at many events. For example, our annual school mass, parents' evenings and open evenings. Why did you want to be a member of the head girls team? School has given us so many opportunities to help me grow as a person, such as trips abroad and the DAV Gold Scheme. I like to inspire younger pupils and hopefully give them the same opportunity that I had. Throughout my time at Upton, I've really enjoyed exploring leadership roles, such as my role as sports representative in Year 7. I really want to use this skill to help benefit the school as best as I can. So, when I started in Year 7, I had little confidence. I remember seeing the head girl speak at our first annual school mass. I was in awe of her confidence to be able to speak so, so well in front of so many people. I've always aimed to be that inspiring and confident. What did you have to do to become a member of the head girls team? So the positions on the head girls team are very prestigious roles within our school. So it's safe to say that the process is quite lengthy. So first we had to write a letter of application to our head teacher expressing why we wanted to be on the team and some of the qualities we could bring to the role. The girls were then long listed and we all had to perform a speech in front of the year 11s, the year 12s and the outgoing head girls team. It was quite nerve wracking at first but once we were up there it was actually quite fun. We just outlined our action plans and the teachers and the students put down their vote for who they wanted to be head girl and deputy head girl. The candidates were then shortlisted and we had an interview with our head teacher. The questions that she asked us were typically questions that she'd ask someone applying to be a member of staff, so they were quite difficult. In your opinion, what makes Upton such a special place? The six FCJ values of excellence, hope, gentleness, justice, dignity and companionship make our school unique. There's such a tight-knit community that brings a lovely atmosphere. There's a sense of history in our school that's truly unique and we often reflect on that on our retreat days when we talk about the founding of our school. So for example, my mum and my auntie both went to this school and when they come in on open evenings sometimes they like to see how much has changed. What is your favourite memory that you have whilst you've been at Upton? For me it would have to be the French exchange. This experience allowed me to grow in confidence so much and gave me so much more independence. It also allowed me to gain an insight into another culture and help me decide on my career path as I now study French A level. Our school is a very international school and we hold trips that go all over the world. I loved Interform and this is a yearly competition between the forms where we celebrate our talents through sports and group activities. Every form represents a house so it really helps bring the houses together. I started Upton in September and there are lots of girls due to start this September. If you could go back in time, what, what advice would you give to yourself when starting at Upton? I would say, don't be afraid to get things wrong. Ask questions and make mistakes. It's the best way to learn and flourish as a person. And always remember, the entire staff at Upton have your best interests at heart. Definitely get involved in extracurricular activities, such as Harry Potter Club, Choir and Handball. They really give you time out of your studies, allow you to relax and create new friendships and they really help to push you out of your comfort zone. I would say embrace all opportunities that Upton gives to you, such as ski trips to America and the enrichment programme within the sixth form. You may never get the opportunity again. I'd say don't be afraid to be yourself. Do what makes you happy and don't compare yourself to other people. Embrace the fact that you'll be challenged but know that you have plenty of support from your teachers and your fellow students. Tell myself to take a step back, relax and just truly enjoy the journey at Upton. What would you like your legacy to be when you leave Upton? I would really like to have a lasting impact on every individual at Upton Hall School and I'd love to inspire future head girls teams to want to follow in our footsteps to benefit the school. 
I'd love for people to think for themselves because it's so easy in this day and age to get caught up in what everyone else is thinking and I want to give people the courage to form their own informed opinions. So to sum up, our legacy would be to be remembered as role models and strong, independent young women who can conquer anything they put their minds to.